Howdy guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today I want to show you guys something kind of unusual. This um, Infinity Bowl uh, from Auto Bowl. What they have here, they asked me, Kirk, we're doing a lot of work uh, uh, over here. They asked me, Kirk, can you fix this? And I said, well, technically no. They said, well, what, what can you do to help out? I said, well, here's what you have going on, guys. You have to know a bit about spalling. Um, what is spalling? Spalling is when you get concrete, and this concrete, this bowl is an infinity type where when it's filled up, the water cascades over here in a sheet of like glass. It's, it's gorgeous. It's really cool. I've seen it uh, about 30, 30, 20 years ago I was here and I was looking at it thinking, wow, that's cool. Today we're here to fix it. Um, you see, can you get a close-up of this crack, Jay? You see, this, this crack right here, folks, this is a huge crack. And then this part had a crack, and that's why it popped off. And there's a crack over here, and it's, it's pretty significant. What does that mean, guys? Right now, you can see the breath coming out of my mouth. It's cold. And, I mean, this is, it's, the sun is just starting to come up over the horizon. So when it gets about 30 degrees, 33 is freezing. So what happens is, over, the, this bowl's been here like 33, 35 years. What happens is, the water goes in this crack here and it goes in this crack here and when it freezes it expands so it goes through the freeze thaw and when the water expands in here it pops concrete apart and sometimes exposes rebar and things like that we actually did a video about five years ago explained something like that on a concrete building so i told the fellow here i said well gee if i hit this with a pressure washer i will disturb this guy here and possibly pop it off. If I take my uh, hammer chisel drill and anchor some in here, I'll chip more off. So what we're gonna do is lightly hit it with a wire brush. I'm gonna put a poly bond here. Poly bond is the cementous material that attaches styrofoam as a scratch coat. And then we're gonna come back and match this by eye. I told him, gee whiz, we can't get the color here if you go on the we go on the top, you'll see it's beautiful. And what, when, I, when I say beautiful, it's 30 years of water running over the surface here, which exposes the rocks, the aggregate. The rock is just a fancy word for, for aggregates. In stucco, it's sand. In concrete, it's rocks. So it exposes all of these, uh, the glitter, which is sand. It, uh, it's gorgeous on top. I tell them, or we can just glue these back on. <laughs> just a joke. Anyway, I want to go up top and show you what what it looks like and why nobody could really match this once it's 30 years old. Well, we got a perfect opportunity to show you the top of this infinity pull. Now, these ducks, they don't mind us. Uh, I used to have a fish pond that, a three-level fish pond, and we had a lot of ducks. And I'll tell you, they're really cool to look at. But man, those ducks, uh, they eat every fish in sight and they make a big mess. Here I'm at a shopping center, so there's thousands of these ducks and geese, and I think that looks cool, but I hate to clean up behind them because I used to do that when I had mine. But Jay, come on over here. I want to show you, show, some, point out something. All right, guys, you see how, you see all these stones right here, and you can see a lot, of, it looks like glitter. It's not glitter, it's just sand. Uh, it looks like glass, uh, it, sand and glass from the original aggregate. So all of this, sand that's exposed how's a fella going to match something like that where it took 30 something years of this water cascading over here to erode it all we can do is the best we can when we get to that stage i'll show you how we do it but notice again this is why i told the fella when he says well what's what's the best you can do i says gee you got to know your limitations and i do this for a living i know what we can do and i know what we cannot do and this really can't be salvaged. You see this crack here. And guess what, too, guys? Right now, it's around 6.30 in the morning, uh, maybe 7. So, and it's kind of cold. If it were 3 in the afternoon, and if it ever heats up today, which we're in winter, doubtful, this crack will disappear. Why? Because when the sun hits it, it expands. So you won't see this crack anymore. But I've been doing this well over 30 years, so I already know what I'm, I know what to look for, and I know what we're capable of correcting and what we're simply not capable of correcting. 
anyhow, um, I wanted to point that out because part of fixing something is you got to know why it's broken in the first place. All right, guys. Uh, back to how we repair this right here. Now, naturally, we can't match a finish here with exposed aggregate that water cascades over for 30 years. However, he says, Kirk, just do the best you can. And so I told him, well, we'll do the best we can. What we did is we wire brushed this. And then once we wire brushed all the dust off, because nothing adheres to dust, we used a polybond. Polybond is uh, a cement Tissuous adhesive, and that's about the strongest adhesive that I'm aware of. It's what they hang styrofoam molds on all the buildings around the country with. And so what I did was we uh, put a, a poly bond on here. We just brushed it on. Then I took a corner aid and cut my piece of corner aid, and this piece of metal is on here. Now that's poly bonded on there. That, that just had a chance to set up and dry so that if anything is going to adhere, this is going to adhere. If it doesn't, it doesn't, because these are some of the things you can do and cannot do. Water comes over here, and when we get to 30 degrees, water goes into the cracks and expands. That's how ice is formed, freezing. It freezes and pop, it pops it off. So I told him, hey, we'll do the best we can with what we have to work with. So right now, what I'm using right here, this sort of brown color, it's Eisenwall. Eisenwall is a white cement and the brown is just the, the color of the sand so we're using the color of the sand the natural sand and we're using the color of the Eisenwall which is white and that's what gives it this uh, tan appearance okay so I'm going to finish putting this on and then I actually put a few stones in this that's why it's not adhering there's some pebbles on the ground and i thought well gee whiz we'll give it a best shot to match these pebbles so what i'm going to do is put this on and then i'm going to try to expose the aggregate and when i say expose the aggregate how do you do that you apply water that's how you expose it so okay a little bit more right here just to fur it out a little bit and then now what I'm going to do is take a float and bring these tools down, set them down here, boom, and I'm going to bring up a float. What is a float? A green sponge float. This brings out the aggregate. It's just water. Now, I don't want too much water at first because if I put too much water, it's just going to wash right off. So getting as much water off of here as I can. And then I'm going to pull up first. If I pull down, the whole corner could come off. So I'm going to pull up, get my corner, get that off. Then I'm going to put a little bit more water on here now to try to get underneath. And this is just going flat, going flat like that. And where it's a little humpy. We turn that float around and here you can see my own rocks that I put in here which makes it a little tougher for me to try to get this right but I'm trying to expose the aggregate like what they have for 30 years of the water cascading down it that's how we get exposed aggregate on cement also guys okay now I'm gonna take it here I'm going to take it here, and when this dries, is it going to be the same color? No, but you got to know your limitations, guys, and I definitely know my limitations. We're pretty good at stucco and matching finishes, but there are some things you just cannot do, and this is one of them. But I did tell the fella, well, we'll do the best we can, so when this dries, it's going to be a lot lighter than this, but he says, Kirk, no worries, the water's going to uh, cascade over it as in an infinite pull so it won't show just do the best you can that's the best we can anyway my name is Kirk I'm with Kirk Giordano Plaster and we thank you guys for watching and as usual we'll see you guys on the next one by the way folks my dad and I are now members of Amazon affiliates so if you're looking to buy any of the plastering or construction tools you've seen in our videos and you want to support us in the process you can check the links below our video 
or you can go to our website and get them there. If you have any other questions that, for tools we don't have linked, email us direct and we'll respond to you then. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.